Last year I did a product review from the company Yoshino on one of their power stations, but this wasn't just a regular power station. This one claimed to have a solid state battery inside. Now all power stations use some form of a lithium ion battery, could be lithium iron phosphate, but solid state takes it one step further. It's supposed to contain no liquid inside. Now what brought this to a head was about a month ago, another product reviewer took one of these devices apart. They punctured the battery with an arrow, it lit on fire, and they did a series of tests and came to the conclusion that the company was completely lying, that the battery inside was not even solid state. Now I know everybody likes a saga, but something just didn't add up. It isn't typical for a company to make such an outrageous claim in writing on all their advertising material and expect no one to ever figure it out. And some of those tests that the first reviewer did ended up not really being as accurate as they thought. All batteries are flammable. They all are. Whether it's lead acid, lithium ion, lithium iron phosphate, or even a solid state battery. Because if batteries are shorted out, basically connecting the positive and the negative, or the cathode and the anode together, anything can explode. If you've ever dropped a wrench on a car battery by accident, and if you left it there, eventually that battery is going to become toast. When a review is incorrect, especially based on an advertising claim, I take that very seriously. Now I love doing tests, but unfortunately in this case, that is not something you can easily do at home. To get the real information, we've got to do what we do really well in the U.S., and that's of course to sue people. Are refusing to answer any questions. Every question, read every question. Read every question. You, yeah. yeah, you have not. We disagree. So I began by going directly to the company. I demanded clear answers that they could not avoid. But additionally, that's not really going to help you because if someone is a liar, they're just going to keep lying, of course, right? They're going to tell you they're always telling the truth. So I also wanted to see real information that could prove that this thing was meeting the solid state battery definition. Companies do not like to make mistakes in writing because they are eventually liable for it. And if you're thinking it's some Chinese company and they're immune to that, this company has a US based office with US employees. So without further delay, let's look at the evidence. I'm going to show you every single thing I found. What exactly is a solid state battery? Now when I was a kid, electronics were changing and solid state electronics meant that your electronics no longer had things like relays or moving parts. But when we move into a battery, the definitions are weird. The general definition is that solid state batteries do not use a liquid electrolyte, they use a solid electrolyte. Normal lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate batteries use a liquid electrolyte. Now lithium iron phosphate batteries are much safer. You can puncture them several times and they often won't ignite, but lithium ion batteries, the original one, those things blow up the second you puncture them and they really are the least safe of the batteries. Safer is always better. So the move to a solid state battery where it's even harder to ignite is definitely something people want. Now let's take a look at the documentation from Yoshino. Now I did look into doing tests and a number of different analyses, but I didn't feel that I could even do it accurately enough. So as I said, we're gonna go down the legal route starting with this email that I sent Yoshino. So I went right to it. I asked them outright, is this truly a 100% solid state battery inside these devices? And their answer was crystal clear. They are absolutely saying that the batteries are in fact solid state and that they meet the definition of solid state batteries. I should also mention that I fully warned them that all of this information would be shown in this video and would be shared with viewers so they knew that every word they put could potentially be challenged and could even be evidence if this thing turned into something else. MSDSs are designed for safety, things like firefighters or hazmat workers. Now when I compared the MSDS of this Yoshino device to something like an EcoFlow or a Blue Eddy, there were differences. When I look at the Yoshino, the percentage of these organic solvents is far lower, but they still show that there is some liquid in the battery. Now that makes sense because that other influencer, when he tore the battery apart, commented that he saw liquid solvent inside. Now originally I thought this MSDS would be enough to kind of close the case, but it really did open up more questions because there were differences, but is it enough? of a difference to prove that it's a solid state battery. Solid state batteries are typically using the chemical compound LATP. This is what replaces those organic solvents. So I went back to Yoshino and I said, prove that this is truly what is in the battery. How do I know it's there? Do you have a chemical test? Is there an analysis? And surprisingly, they returned this lab report to me showing exactly what was inside this battery. Now you could certainly say that the entire report is made up. I'm also gonna to link to this report in the description. So if you wanna dig into this further and you have other comments, I would definitely like to hear that. But as I go through the report, I do clearly I see LATP, I see other solid state battery components, and the conclusion at the end of this test is that the lab found that the battery inside is a solid state battery. 
they are showing that the battery technology is a solid state battery, but there was still one issue. Why was there any liquid at all inside the battery that the other YouTubers discovered? So again, I reached back out to Yoshino and their answer was that they do use a small amount of that solvent as a kind of binder for the LATP. What I don't know here is, is that reasonable? I can understand that you may need some liquid to bind some of these powders together, but I don't know what amount basically changes the definition of a solid state battery. But then the final test was a lot more basic. If you've got two power stations that the weight is significantly lighter on the Yoshino, that would give it credibility that it is probably using a different type of battery. So what does all this mean? Is Yoshino telling the truth? Are they lying? All I can share is that the information I found did show that everything inside appears to be a solid state battery. And they're willing to put clearly in writing that it is a solid state battery, exposing them to unbelievable litigation if they were found out to be lying. But so many of you guys are a lot smarter than I am, especially with battery technology. Look at the information that I've linked, read it for yourself, and see what conclusion do you come to. But I think the most important thing is to understand that all batteries are flammable. So if you just take a nail and drive it through the battery, whether it ignites or doesn't ignite, that isn't necessarily going to tell you what the battery is comprised of. Everybody does like a saga or a story, but the info that they sent me was pretty upfront and it did seem very clear. Two, one, 